तो हेलो हेलो हाय गाइस गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम बैक टू न्यू वीडियो की हालचाल आई होप यू आर गुड इन दिस वी गॉन सी प्रॉब्लम फाइंड द सेंटर ऑफ अ स्टार ग्राफ ऑल इट इज इजी वन बट जस्ट जस्ट क्विकली सी द प्रॉब्लम इट सिंपली सेज दैट वी आर गिवन अ अनडायरेक्टेड स्टार ग्राफ सो बाय रीडिंग द वर्ड ग्राफ इट सेल्फ यू माइट इवन फील इट्स अ ग्राफ प्रॉब्लम बट या लेट्स कंटिन्यू which has n nodes labeled from 1 to n okay as you can see we, i have four nodes labeled from 1 2 3 4 and then a star graph is a graph where there is a one center node and exactly n minus 1 edges that connect to that the the center node with every other node so as you can see i have four nodes but three edges so i will have one center node for sure and then other Three edges connecting other three nodes. I am given a two D array edges, which means I will be given two four one two two three and so on and so forth. I have to find out like what is the center of the given star, which means I have to return a two in this case. Two as an answer. So as we saw that okay, it is a graph. They are mentioning a graph. So and we just want to know this center element. what is the property of this center element the property of this center element is that everyone else is connected to it and he is connected to everyone else everyone else is connected to him only and he is connected to everyone else so how to monitor that connection between one to other nodes how many nodes they are connected simply degree so i will maintain the degree of every node the degree of this is one degree of this is 3 degree of this is 1 degree of this is 1 so for all the other nodes the degree will be 1 but for the center node degree will be n minus 1 and in that case whoever has a degree of n minus 1 that will be my center node so what you will do you will have to iterate on the entire edges array let's take the array size as n roughly n let's take all, all this n minus 1 but take n For O of n complexity, so I will have to iterate on the entire edges array. It will take O of n time, and for sure I have to maintain a degree for all of my all of my nodes. So again, it will take O of n time, and then with this I will be easily able to figure out what is the center of that specific graph, star graph. Can we improvise it? Um. it feels yes why because we can see that it is very obvious that everyone else has a degree of 1 everyone else has a degree of 1 only the one in the center will have a degree of 3 or i can say n minus 1 but the the main point is that even if i take two edges even if i take two edges let's say if i even forget the other edge existing or not even if i take two edges whatsoever node is common between those two edges will for sure be the center of the star graph because i will have to find the center which means i am given the center i know that there will exist a center if there exists a center which means i know the four cannot be attached to anyone else if two is attached to someone else also which means for sure he will be the center so i can only compare the starting two nodes And I can I can just check. Okay, is one equal to is one equal to three? Okay, is two equal to yeah? Which means that if two is common between two edges, so that two is the center. And this is with this you are only comparing starting two edges. So O of one time and space not needed because you will just compare four coordinates. That's it. Again O of one space and that's your. most optimal answer cool let's see the code it's exactly same firstly i grab the top two edges e1 and e2 then i will compare let's say i grabbed e1 and then let's say i grabbed e2 so i will again let's say this is e1 this is e2 edge 1 edge 2 i will simply compare edge 1 0 edge 1 0 with my edge 2 0 or if it is equal to my edge 2 1 Which means that this h one zero is common. In that case, I will return h one zero. So as you can see, I compare h one zero with h two zero, or I, I, or h one zero with h two one. In that case, I can simply say h one zero is the common one. If not, then for sure h one h one one will be the answer because I know for sure for sure. There will exist some element which is common, which is common. 
because I have and I know this will for sure form a star graph. So yeah, that's the answer. And again, uh, if you would say, Aryan, what if I want to figure out if there is a star graph or not, then simply compare if this is also not equal, then uh, obviously not a star graph. If equal, then you have to compare the entire entire array because then you will have to again this is the problem then i am saying okay what if i don't know this there is a graph or not then i have to go and turn the entire array and see if it is actually following that star graph property or not cool but in that also space would not be used because i can just go and compare elements like this like two elements and two elements just maintaining that how much frequency how much frequency is only for the center element which means how much is the degree of the center element in that case cool i hope you got it yeah see you goodbye take care bye bye again it's an easy question uh, not as much has only been asked by microsoft in the last one to two years bye bye